maybe, but you never really like partied hard, did you? No, I was never like a super hard partier, but I definitely used to I've be. I've seen much you more. drunk like two times. Yeah. I and also like my more party ish you've never known me when I was more open to it. Because Yeah. Of, no. Yeah. I would say that was more my college years. Like my last year of college is when I finally kind of like stopped and like put a pin in. But, uh, you know, I was, I definitely was not much of a drinker than I would drink. If certainly, you know, if it was offered to me, I'd usually take a drink. Um, definitely like a daily stoner took psychedelics quite frequently. Um, and yeah, I didn't really experiment much with much else, but I did a little bit um, as a special treat. Yeah, like I, I remember the my first, uh, not my first semester, but my second semester in college was the first semester that I lived in an apartment, and uh, there was this like experimental drug going around called MXE. Oh, it was like yeah, a yeah. synthetic <laughs> snortable thing. You know about yeah. that? Yeah, I snorted that I've, a few times. I can't remember who. It was some like weird chick that I think my roommate was bringing over that's where and that's then where she started, research chemicals yeah. come from and then she started yep. hanging around me and then offered it to me i was like yeah i'll try it and i tried it and got like some from her and i shared it with some of my friends and it was just like this weird like angry semi-psychedelic cocaine high yeah it's weird i know i did a research chemical um recently um i was out on a private island and i um because that's i deserve things like that um there's this drug called DOC, and I took it with a little bit of acid because I've been like trying to get back into uh, psychedelics, and I've had a really, like validly kind of like a fear of them or an anxiety about taking them because I've had so many profound experiences uh, with psychedelics before. Mm. So like, I'm nervous. It's like, ooh, I don't know if I'm ready to look at that big picture. I'm scared. Yeah. But uh, the research chemical I took completely outwashed the um, acid, and mm. it was just this very like definitely psychedelic but mostly just like racy and almost speedy high yeah and then i um stayed up till sunrise and called um called coin collectors in the area hmm. just fucked with them wasted their time and then called up uh yeah they called like funeral homes and asked if they had uh, veterans discounts and mm. just like fucked with them for like i guess one of my favorite things is just calling people and wasting their time yeah that was um, fun. It's it's very fun. Oh, called a tow truck, and this is like eight in the morning. Yeah, I called a tow, uh, like a tow truck company. This would be like, uh, my family's stranded on the side of the road, but like, are you a poly friendly, um, towing company? And just <laughs> explain polyamorism to some like country ass trucker for like a half hour. Are you a poly friendly <laughs> truck company? No, just but, like, I don't care if you're swingers or whatever. I was like, no, no, no. You see, it's like if you have this candle, right? You can let you can take this candle and you can <laughs> light a bunch of other candles <laughs> and just saying insane shit to this guy to the point where he just hung up. Then I called back immediately and just slammed him for being uh not not friendly <laughs> to my poly. poly. Yeah, anti poly <laughs> to me and my family. 